talk about mobility exercises and the fact that maybe your mobility exercises suck. And I'm not trying to say that your mobility exercises that you do are useless, but they might be something that you're doing that isn't as effective as it should be when we're talking about mobility. It's just the same as if we did some sort of warm up, right? You, you see most people think about warm ups as, oh, I do five minutes on the treadmill or on the bike or whatever, and then I kind of get to it. You know, runners, the, the uh, traditional stereotypical runners warm up is like, well, I just run slow at first. Um, yet, yet we have all of these movements at our disposal and we don't do them well. So from a mobility standpoint, I'm gonna give you one exercise. I'll give you two exercises that we're doing that you're not getting the effectiveness out of that exercise. So here's what I see at the gym. So I'll see someone working on thoracic mobility and we know that that upper back needs to be able to move and rotate. And so what you'll see someone at the gym doing is they'll go, right? And they'll do their exercise, they'll get that in, right? But in reality, what we wanna do is something to where we actually get the thoracic spine to rotate. So I'm gonna take that dip right there, and you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really try to get my shoulder on the ground and try to reach as far across my body as I can so I can get that upper spine to rotate a bit. And then I'll do the same thing on the back side here, and I may even bring that back leg out to get more rotation in the thoracic spine. So I'm reach, 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 reach and then I reach out. And the problem is that that's harder, right? And so we're like, ah, let me just, let me just, let me just get my mobility in. And we move on, right? So that option doesn't give you the results you want. The other option is a little bit more challenging. You have to put some effort into it, but it gets you what you want. It gets you what you want. Another, another idea here is the bird dog, right? So we'll work on, uh, you know, crossover uh, at core stabilization here. So a lot of people do this. Instead of getting this arm to get my bicep by my ear, right? So that's where I wanna go here in that upper thoracic area again. And that back leg, what I wanna do is get extension, hip extension and squeeze that glute, right? I wanna squeeze that glute in that position so abs turn on, glutes turn on, they work together, right? And I'll go here to here and back. Pull that arm up, squeeze that glute, and then I come back. So this ain't it, folks. That ain't it. But what happens is that's what we do because we don't want to pay attention to the things that can actually help us. Right? Those things amp up the effectiveness of the workout that you're doing. So even putting those things in, in a position where they are, there's some intent within the exercise ramps up all of the other exercises you're doing to make them more effective, to give you better results, to make you happier in a sense of working out.